Today I will show you how you can get your MacBook to work again with a stuck shift key. A little backstory. How I got this was uh, the owner brought me it because she brought it to a Mac Shark, which is basically a Apple store. Not quite a real Apple store, it's an Apple reseller store. And what they would say is, yeah, it needs it needs a whole new motherboard and um, just a hunk of bullshit really and so she brought it to me and I had a look at it at first I thought hey I'm just gonna reinstall it that's what she also wanted because she thought the computer was just you know messing about because it had a screwed up operating system so I went ahead and tried to reinstall it but I quickly figured out that there is something more wrong with it and so what um, what I found out is that it will only boot up into save mode, which was very strange to me. So I first thought, I didn't even uh, jump to the conclusion that it's one of the shift keys holding it down, so it boots always into uh, save mode. I always thought first, hey, this really has a hardware problem. Maybe those guys at the store weren't so wrong after all. Maybe it's a motherboard problem, something's shorting out, maybe water has been spilled on it. So I was actually ready to say, hey, uh, there's nothing I can do either. But then I read something online. I connected a second keyboard. Um, and uh, I hold down the Alt key on the second keyboard. And all of a sudden, it would install the operating system. It would go into internet recovery, install everything. But... Upon first reboot, it would also act up. It would shut down randomly. And at this point, I was again saying, yep, this has a hardware problem. However, it just didn't go out of my head why it was, why I got it even that far. So I troubleshooted further. I read online further. And it turns out it has a stuck shift key. So at the time, I didn't know if it was this one or that one. It is this one. And so I was like, shit, well, I know what the problem is. The computer is fully functional. It's just that the keyboard has a problem. The shift key is stuck. And so therefore the Mac always thinks upon restarting or uh, starting up, it, it, it needs to go into safe mode because that's how Mac's going to save mode. You hold down the shift key. So the problem with this is the shift key doesn't work, but unfortunately the Mac always recognizes it as being pressed. So I gave her the option. You can either replace the keyboard, which is a total pain in the ass, and will cost you quite a bit because I would need to disassemble this whole machine, or I could just software disable this button and be done with it. So how do you do it? What is the actual solution? Well, you don't have to reinstall the operating system, nothing. So what do you actually have to do to fix this mess? You have to shut it down. You have to locate the Alt key or the Option key as they call it. You have to keep holding it until the Apple logo appears. Which is pretty fast on the MacBook Airs. I suppose it's a little slower on the hard drive based Macs. But this is what you have to do. So you start it up. You keep holding the Alt. Hear the chime and now you can release it. So what it will do now is, it will bypass this pressed key and just boot up into normal mode, no safe mode. And I think that's a big deal, first of all, to you. Uh, because you probably thought, oh, my computer is bricked or something is wrong with it. But it's just safe mode, really. So we'll now wait. Because it, as you can see, for a MacBook Air, it boots pretty slow. And I suppose... It is just, it's just not really uh, knowing what's going on with this key just yet. But don't worry, the boot time, that's something you will have to live with, I'm afraid. Now, when you have it booted up and you still haven't software disabled it, it will go nuts, of course. It will only write in caps, you won't be able to use shortcuts, it will be uh, an, an unusable machine. So what, you, what it would do is, and that's how I would then receive it once it's, kind of booted up into the Mac OS. I did find it astonishing that I really got it somehow installed on there. That was really something that I 
didn't expect with a stuck shift key because again at that time I didn't even know it was that problem. So what it would do is it would basically always write like this. And that is unusable. You want you don't always want caps. And also again you can't use shortcuts, it will mess around with your clicks. So what you have to do the matching utility what you have to download is Carabina Elements and that is your key to get out of this mess. So what you do is you go to here there, this is their website and you download it. You can also look uh, at, your, at their GitHub which uh, um, where they post updates, how the development is going on and such. And as you can see, it is even updated to macOS Big Sur. That was also a concern. Maybe it doesn't work on Big Sur, but all great. Works uh, on all the latest operating systems. If you have an older Mac, you can also use older versions. As you can see there, you have Catalina, Mojave, Hisair. That's basically everything from even Mavericks to Big Sur. So a whole variety of operating system to, to choose from. So if you have troubles installing the program they have got a great documentation on their website how to do it. So there's a step-by-step -step, um, tutorial how you have to install it, how you have to open up the system preferences, install the the grant input monitoring. That's also very important so that you do that here under privacy Ah, there it is, input monitoring. You have to grant all of those access. If you don't, the software won't work. So then you're set. Then you can finally disable this annoying key. So you click here on simple mods, click on internal keyboard, and as you can see, I already have it set here. So when you do that new, it will look like this. You can then click on it, you can um, then rule out both, that's what I did. First I would set both to disabled. So um, uh, you can click here and you can relocate it to any, basically any key you want, but the one you want first to test out uh, to troubleshoot is this, disable this key. So now, right now, you don't have to click apply or anything. Uh, we have both shift keys disabled, so in order to write uh, something in caps, you have to use really the caps lock now, so when you do this here, as you can see, I press the, I press the right shift and it just keeps writing lowercase and once I remove that action there, I'm back with normal lower, uh, normal caps and lowercase, so this is what you want of course. Now you can of course relocate your broken shift key to for example the function key. I don't I hardly know anyone who really uses that function key a lot. So you could maybe relocate here the shift key to the function key. In my case, um uh, she told me I just I should just disable it, she she will use this or the caps lock, so that's fine for me. Um but you can do anything and that is not just the shift key, this this program is so powerful you can reprogram your entire keyboard so if you have one key that doesn't work and messes about you can always disable it reset it to a different key it's really simple and it works great so when you have that done you're done you're set this is all you have to do and you don't have to worry about this anymore this will start up every mac every time the mac starts and I think it will even keep starting up once you do a whole macOS upgrade. Can't say that for sure. If it doesn't, you can always relaunch it, update it, because it's even clearly stating here, check for updates. So right now the latest one is installed, but if it's, if it's somehow not working or stop working with a Mac update, you can always update it and see if it works. It will probably. So that is my solution to this problem. Of course, it's not perfect. You still have to hold down the Alt key because after all, this is only a software solution. The key is still connected, so it will still press once the Mac starts and this, uh, until the software loads, this, it still is pressed. So, but 
just for the time being and uh, or temporary fix i think it's 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 a great idea and saves you lots of money especially because replacing this keyboard while it isn't all that expensive it's just a lot of work and hassle and she didn't want to do that so i i'm kind of relieved that i don't have to do it but <laughs> It's the only possible way to fix it. Probably something has been spilled on here or I don't know what, what caused the problem. But it's for sure the keyboard. I ran some Cinebench it's just to make sure that this thing is actually rock solid and reliable. And it is. It just was this keyboard. So that is my solution. Um, you can of course, that's what I tried first, blow out this with some compressed air. Uh, see if it keeps it going. In some cases it might, but in mine it didn't do anything. It's probably corroded under there. Something has shorted out. So yeah, uh, I'll now put this sticker on it to make uh, everyone know this is... Uh, don't press it. It's broken. doesn't do anything. And uh, yeah, we'll put that back on then. Just have to make sure that I don't mess it up. There we go. And uh, yeah, then we can return this to the owner and uh, save them. We save them lots of money. So give it a shot. Really simple, really effective.